everyone. I'm so hyped for this video. I saw this come in the mail and I couldn't even wait to do a PR unboxing. I just had to open it immediately and film with it because I just I just can't wait. I'm so excited. Today we have the Am Reezy palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills and if you've been watching my videos for years and years now you may remember that the original Am Reezy Anastasia Beverly Hills palette was my holy grail. I'm pretty sure it made it to like a yearly favorites. I used it in tons of videos. I traveled with it. I used the absolute living shit out of it to be honest. And I still own it because I just refuse to get rid of it. It's right here. Look at this. So this is so old and that's how the inside looks and this color here was my favorite for so long and this one right here these two colors are like holy grails and then the shimmers like i just used them all the time i haven't reached for it in a little while but i still am obsessed with it so naturally when we saw this announced i was just over the moon like so excited i'm so excited to play with it so that's what we are doing today i am doing a first impression on the pretty fresh range by colourpop if it's already up i will link it below this packaging first of all like <laughs> i've tried to dress for the occasion like i put on this really cute pink top from white Force petite some cute miss lola earrings like i just wanted to be super barbie today like curled my hair the whole nine yards so this is how i received the package and then if you open it up you have the amrezy mirror which is bejeweled naturally and the box it looks like this it's just like a pink box with reflective writing absolutely obsessed with this this is going to come everywhere with me it is definitely my vibe if you know me well and then the palette inside looks like this once again literally my dream aesthetic it's glittery it's pink it's champagne and the colors inside there's also a brush it just fell out but the colors inside are stunning i'm so excited to play with some of those pinks i'm so excited to play with the neutrals because the neutrals were just so stand out in the last palette that they did together so i'm so excited to play with these like you don't understand so there are way more colors this time here's the old palette with the new palette obviously they're not the exact same at all but there are a couple of similar shades which i'm happy about like some of those warm neutrals there's like a couple of similar ones so Honestly, I'm hyped. Let's just jump straight into it and try it out. And I'll link everything that I'm using today down below. This is limited edition, get in quick. Don't miss out on it. I'm sure it's gonna be amazing. Anastasia Beverly Hills is just pumping out the most amazing palettes at the moment, the Norvina palettes. Carly Bibles, Anastasia Beverly Hills palette, the Jackie Ina, Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. I'm saying that so quick, like it's all just, whew. I need to slow down. For a second all of those palettes i've loved i will link down below some tutorials using all of those abh palettes i feel like abh is much easier to say at this stage in case you're curious to just see some more looks i've loved every single palette like i have anastasia billy hills eyeshadows do work amazing without a primer too but i'm gonna prime today i actually haven't primed my eyelids in a while properly with my um p louise base my favorite base so I felt like using it today and I'm just going to use a concealer brush to blend this down. I have no idea what kind of look I'm going to do today. I feel like something colourful because a few of my makeup looks lately have been a bit more neutral on the eyes and like very smoky eyeliner and stuff like that. So I just feel like doing something different to what I've normally been. Oh shit, just got that all in my eyelid. I mean, eyebrow. Yeah, I just feel like switching it up a little bit just to keep the content fresh, you know. I've already filled in my eyebrows kind of as well. They might need a little bit of a touch up after that disaster. And I just flip over my brush and use this like paddle brush to blend it out. So looking at this palette, a couple of the colors that are really sticking out are Cupcake and Barb, these like purplish pinkish colors. Cupcake's more purple and Barb's more duochrome pinky bluey purple. So what colors should we start with? I guess I'll start with OG just through the crease just to transition. And I am gonna zoom you guys in so you can see what I'm doing better because you know, YouTube toots, YouTube toots life. So yeah, this is called OG. I'm just taking a fluffy blender brush and I'm going to let you saw how I just kind of tapped it first and then big, huge, fluffy motions. You can see that's so pigmented. And that's such a pretty color. I can imagine this just all over the eyelid as well. That's just one layer. So I'm gonna just build it up a little bit just to intensify the crease a little wee bit or a lot because it's so pigmented. Okay, I'm just gonna keep blending this out till it looks nice and soft. I'm just gonna kind of wing it out, like out here a little. And then I'm gonna take a little bit right underneath as well and just kind of link it up. Oh my God, there's just so many colors in here I wanna use at once. The pressed glittery shades like Liddy. Oh my God, 
I'm gonna have to do another tutorial using this like if I knew I wasn't gonna talk so much today I would do a two-in-one but maybe I could do another two-in-one because there's at least three different looks I can already imagine that I really want to go in with really want to start doing that more like two looks one palette stuff like that so this color like obviously is just the transition shade so I'm not really being careful with it just making sure to wing it out just to kind of contour my eye area underneath as well I haven't contoured yet by the way we'll do that together all I've done is brows and base so I'm gonna use bronzer and contour and highlight and all that as well okay now I'm gonna take a smaller blender brush so like a firm blender brush which looks more like this so more dense and we're going to take 1988 which looks like a beautiful deep chocolatey brown there's also Yugo which is like purplish which I may use later we'll see how we go so I'm just placing 1988 on the outer corner and I'm going to blend that through the crease a little bit as well concentrating most of that color on the outer and then bringing in what's left on my brush through the front so just like that I'm going to do the same on the other side and then we'll blend it out just making sure I've got that kind of shape down put a little bit on that outer corner down the bottom and then I like wipe off my brush and then now that it's kind of clean just go around the outer edges and just soften everything but keeping the color like closer to that crease if that makes sense and then wipe off your brush again before you keep going don't worry if it's not perfect so I'm going to use my first blender brush to add a little bit more of that first color um, after we've kind of placed where this dark color is going this color is amazing it's such a beautiful shade I really like on their lower lash line it looks super sexy so once we've placed that color I'm going actually I'm gonna go in to New Yorker which is slightly paler and more like yellow undertone just because I want to try it and then kind of going around the out edges and we're gonna highlight our brow bone in a bit so I'm not too worried about how it looks at the very top and I'm so sorry if my eyebrows look terrible I'm getting them done this week so I'm just letting them grow out a little bit so there's like all these stray hairs which make blending a bitch I feel like as soon as you put eyeshadow over top of like stray hairs it just like looks patchy-ish like I've got all these hairs in here and I don't know why my hairs grow so far down like come on just stay on the eyebrow like you don't need to be by my eyelid seriously I promise I'm going back in with 1988 and just intensifying that outer corner Oh my god, I really want to use the blue, but I think I want to use the purples first. Like, honestly, the blue looks amazing, though. Just so it looks more like this. Oh my gosh, it's so dark. Blue's called a Leo as well. And I'm a Leo. So, I don't know. I just want to use it. Now I'm going to wipe off my firm blender brush and go into the shade Simsa. Is that how you say that? I have no idea. I'm sorry. It's like a beautiful, like, purple pink. And I'm going to blend that kind of on top of that dark brown and then we're going to cut the crease because I haven't done that in a little while. Oh my god, what is up with the freaking weather? What's new though? It's always ruining my day. Obviously if you use this color just on your bare lid it's going to be brighter but I'm using it over top of the dark brown just to kind of start a transition because I want to use some of those sparkly purples. All right, so I've kind of cut the crease. Hopefully I've done a good enough job. I haven't done this in that long. Um, and then I'm going to take what brush I just take the brush it comes with okay and I'm going to first take cupcake which is the more purple darker kind of tone I don't know what I was about to say just then oh my gosh I'm so excited I'm going to press that oh my god <laughs> ah, it's so pretty I'm putting that like kind of on that transition between the purplish brown color and the cut crease this is stunning you guys I can't even do literally dream it's dreamy it's everything i could want like i would wear this every day i don't think i really have a purple like this kind of purple it's gonna take my brush i used before i'm gonna blend a little bit just so that there's a bit more of a transition between the matte and shimmer there's a little bit of um fallout but i'm being really like heavy-handed on my brush right now i'm like not tapping it off before i'm putting it on but i'll just flick it off shortly I'm going to bring it in a bit closer because I just love this colour that much. So I'm going to cover most of my eyelid with it. And then wiping off my brush. And I'm just going to take my small face brush and just flick off the fallout. I'm going to go back in with the same brush. Going in with the same brush and barb. Oh my god, I'm so excited to put this on. Oh my god. It's so different to what it looks like in the pan. It comes off almost white with like a bluey gold reflect when it's actually on 
but you could put this on top of like a pink or purple I think that would look amazing I'm just gonna blend that in it to the purpler color and I've also put it on that inner corner like quite heavy that looks so good on the inner corner wow I love it and the exact same thing on the other side yeah that's so pretty it's kind of turned out to be quite like a soft cut crease like very subtle but I like it oh, look at it from that angle wow now I'm gonna wipe off that brush again. I'm gonna take the shade Wasted, which is a slightly shimmery, like pale, pinky kind of bone color, like pink for sure though. It's not like a brownish bone color. I'm just using a tiny bit of that on the brow bone. This would also look amazing on the inner corner. Then I'm flipping the brush and just using the blender brush to make sure there's no harsh line there. I'm kind of trying to cover up those pesky brow hairs that I have going on. Just taking a little bit of that warm color and just touching it up. All right, now underneath my lash line, I'm going to take a little bit of Reezy just to make it super pink because I just can't resist the shade. So yeah, I'm going to put it like right in here. Oh my God, that's so pretty. I'm gonna kind of blend into the dark color so there's a bit of a transition. That's just the icing on the cake. And then back in with Barb, just over that very inner corner once more and blending it onto the pink as well just so that everything transitions oh my goodness so pretty it goes with my top so good <laughs> okay so now for eyeliner just to balance out that real dark outer corner I'm gonna do a winged liner I'm going to use my man eater by Tarte today and maybe I should do this off camera because I really do ow I just stabbed myself with my scissors <laughs> ow why were those like that <laughs> I'm going to die I'm so nervous. I'm going to screw up the eyeliner and just ruin everything. I'll do it down here and hopefully you guys, I can't get over how bad my eyebrows are. Well, you guys probably can't even like see because I'm so far away, but like all in here, it's just straight hairs. So I'm going quite dramatic and then I'm going to go thicker on that outer corner. Oh shit. I just did not match those together. I'm going to try and fix that with some Q-tips and concealer. Pray for me. Okay, I feel like we can salvage this. Hopefully I don't do the same thing on the other side. Maybe say I'll try some ABH lashes too because I haven't worn any yet, I don't think. So I'm keeping the liner quite thin on the inner corner and then it real thick at the end. Dramatic. All right, just before I put on lashes, I just popped on some Climax mascara. I'm just going to take the little brush again and go in with Reezy one more time. And I've decided I'm going to just apply a little bit of this kind of right over where the two colors meet, the two shimmery ones. Just to bring up the pink onto the top of the lid as well. Because I feel like the pink's just bottom heavy. I'm just touching up the other colors as well. I love this palette. It's so pretty. Should I go all out? Like why not? I haven't done dramatic AF lashes in a while. So these are called Length Lengthy. Lengthy. <laughs> I'll just whip on these. I'll be right back. So here's the before. Oh my god, it's bright outside. And after. Hopefully you can s I mean, I'm sure you can. They're very big lashes. I love them. Alright, so next one, let's just do some face stuff. That sounds weird. Face stuff. I am going to use this bronze because it's right here. I really like this one though. This is the Invisible Bronze by Bare Minerals. I'm using my Jumbo face brush and I'm going to apply this on my cheek and around my temples to warm up my hairline and also my nose and then going in with Nabla I'm using Gotham to contour a little bit on my nose and then I'm going to use some of maybe the bright pink blush this is called Impulse on a medium face brush just kind of like on my cheekbone this is so pretty. If you guys haven't tried Nabla, you need to. Oh yes, Barbie vibes. And then to tone that down, we're going to highlight on top. I'm gonna use this one because it's right here and it's in theme with the video. So this is um, So Hollywood Loose Highlighter by Anastasia Billy Hills. I love the packaging on this. Like it's so pretty, like the gold glitteriness. And this is like ridiculously blinding, but I mean, it's not like we're being subtle today. You only need the tiniest amount. I'm using a detail face brush with this. A little bit on the tip of the nose, kind of in between my eyebrows. I like to do my chin, Cupid's bow. Oh, it's getting bright now. Sun's finally making an appearance, which is good. 
I'm using that medium face brush just to blend it in. I'm obsessed with the pink on the lower lash line. Like that's the best idea I've had all day. I love the way it looks. Lips. And then I feel like we're done. I'm just going to set everything with some setting spray. This is my favorite one at the moment. I love to soak in it. Just put it all on. <laughs> For my lips, I'm going to start with Kelly Lip Pencil. And I'm overlining a little bit as always. We're going full Barbie vibes today. And then once that's on, I feel like that's the perfect lip color. You know what I mean? I'm gonna wear my old Holy Grail lips. It's probably still my Holy Grail. I just haven't actually reached for it in so long because I've been wearing other colors. But for locally, it makes so beauty. It's the perfect like pinky mauve. And it's matte, honestly. A vibe. So pretty. And then just because we're being extra, I'm going to pop on a little bit of my Carly Bible Maquillage Lip Gloss. The Lip Glaze, sorry, in Twilight. Just on the cupid's bow and then kind of blend it to the bottom lip right in the middle i'm just obsessed i feel like a friggin barbie doll did you guys see my little hair clips too little love hearts <sighs> i'm so happy if i wanted to be extra extra i'd put on like heaps of shimmer all over my chest but i feel like that's enough for today <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching if you were curious about this palette i definitely like it i think it's really easy to work with the shimmers especially and the glitters are just unreal. Let me zoom you all the way in on my eyes. And once again, please do not judge me for my eyebrows right now, but oh my god. So pretty. The shimmer and that lower lash line is just like me, okay? I love. So yeah, congrats Amrezi. This palette is iconic. It is stunning. The packaging is enough to win me over, but the fact the actual colors are stunning and they work amazing it's just icing on the cake you know like you expect that from a palette of course but i'm sorry the packaging alone for me is enough <laughs> like i'm obsessed but it does work really well the colors are stunning you've got some pops of color in there for something fun but you've also got everyday colors as well heaps and heaps of mattes like all of these ones down here are mattes which is amazing some palettes don't do enough mattes these days and then all the shimmers look so different there's different finishes as well like the glittery kind of finish and the shimmer so i'm stoked i'm wrapped I love it. I love this makeup look. I feel like amazing right now. Oh my god. I love this lip combo as well. It's one of my favorites. Thank you for watching and if you want to see more videos like this don't forget to subscribe and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye!